Hey guys, I'm Mr. Melsa. This is Soccer Skills, and welcome to Schools in Activities. Right, guys. Um, first things first. Just want to say, really sorry we can't be doing Easter camp right now. Uh, it's the first time in many years we haven't been able to do it. But the main thing is, you're all keeping safe. Families are staying at home. Um, but what we thought we could do, instead of the normal Easter activities, if you're missing out, we'd actually bring you some schools in activities straight into your living room so you can have a go at home. We'll have some fun, bring some competitions throughout the week, um, a few times to win prizes. And yeah, get involved, engage on the Facebook page. Let's get some videos reposted, photos, the whole family um, doing some different activities we're going to put on this week. I'm actually going to be doing soccer skills. I used to be a soccer coach many, many years ago, um, but we're going to bring it back today. But before we do any physical activity, like all good PE teachers, we must do a warm up. So we're going to do a good warm up first. And once we've got our heart rates up, we can then do a simple stretch. Let's work our legs because we've been working out the soccer skills today. So let's do the traditional quad stretch, arm out for balance, knees together, hold it for eight seconds, switch, you can then do the normal hamstring stretch, each leg and also your calves. So make sure you're nice and loose, ready to do physical activity. Okay, we're nice and warm, now it's time to learn some soccer skills. Now, you've probably been seeing on the internet, there's a craze going around the moment, which is keepy uppies with toilet rolls. Well, we're going to teach you the proper skill so you can become a master of that. Okay, we're going to do it with a football. Hopefully you've got a football um, at home, in the shed, any ball will do. Uh, ideally, a nice soft level one. This is aimed at all ages, so from ages four right up to 16. And mums, dads, grandmas, granddads, we want you getting involved as well. Let's teach everyone some soccer skills, how to keep football up. Okay, we're going to start at the very basics. To learn to become good at keeping the ball up, you've got to start at the basics, right? So, what we're going to do is you're going to take your strongest foot, I have to be left footed, and all I want you to do is drop the ball from your hands into your foot, kick it up, and catch it about waist height. I want you to keep doing that. Now some of you that might take three or four minutes to, to master that, but you need to master that feel of that football dropping onto the top part of your foot before you go out and move on to the next step. So again, from your hands into the foot, get the feel, nice and simple, into your hands, you can see you build up a rhythm. Master that. Keep doing it until you've got that sorted. If you do throw up, don't worry, just go get it and come back to your point, making sure not to knock any windows. Always good. Once you've mastered your strongest foot, now it's time for the weaker one. So you're going to switch, same idea, one kick at a time. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going until you're confident. It should be so that you, when you're catching it, it's barely moving anywhere. Look, I'm just stopping the ball, controlling it, and watching it onto my foot. It's all about concentration, eyes to ball to foot. Okay. We've now mastered that. Part of keeping the ball up is you have to be able to adapt to how the ball flies up and use different parts of the body. So we have to practice some other parts of the body to make sure they're ready to, to keep this ball up. Now one of the main things that footballs will use is the top of their thigh. It's a nice big surface to pad, nicely padded to keep the ball up. So again, that's what we're gonna do. Strongest leg first, mine's left, on the knee, same principle. Keep it up. Try and do it not too high. We don't want it any flying up this high. We want it nice, this time about chin high. In front of you. 
once you've mastered the strong foot, you know what you're going to do, onto the weak foot. Next development to improve is this time we're going to introduce one bounce to the ball. Not true kick ups because the idea of a kick up is to keep it off the ground, but just to get used to adjusting our body position, we're going to allow one bounce. So, like so, keep your main strongest foot first. One bounce, kick. One bounce, kick. We're kind of adjusting little movements. Strongest foot, switch to the weaker foot. You can introduce your upper foot if it goes that way. This is just getting me ready and used to shuffling my feet and my position. Still concentrating on the ball. Like so. Again, you're going to need to do that for a few minutes to get used to it, especially if you're younger and you haven't played football before. It's all about getting used to kicking this ball. Okay, we're going to keep building upon that. So this time, I want you to do two kick-ups and catch the ball. So you've mastered one and catch, but now you're going to do two. It mustn't hit the ground. That's the aim. Here we go. One, two, catch. Bring it back. One, two, catch. One, two, catch. Weaker foot. One, two, catch. 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 Same with the knee, the thighs. Here we go. One, two, catch. One, two, catch. One, two, catch. You'll be ready. Weaker thigh. One, two. Master two. This time, you're going to try to master one kick from the left, your stronger foot, one kick from your weaker foot, and then catch. Here we go. Once you've got used to that, change your knee. used to move between our stronger leg and our weaker leg and now I want you to move between your foot and your thigh so still just doing two in a catch we're gonna go from our strongest leg first kick thigh catch ready skills, but they're what's going to help them put it all together to be able to do many kick-ups. Okay, you've now got all the basic skills, you've mastered two kick-ups at a time. This time, just trying to use your feet, you can try and do as many as you can. You can use both of your feet, left and right. As many as you can, make sure you move your feet, stay relaxed, and keep your eyes on that ball at all times. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Notice how I'm relaxed. It's just nice little kick ups. I'm adjusting my feet. Ball's not going too far away from my body. Just going up in front of me. Okay. That's 
kick ups with the feet, you're gonna exact same on your thighs. Keep it up purely with your thighs. You can do as many as you want on one leg, introduce your other when it comes to the other thigh. But see how many you do on your thigh only. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Go again on the one, keeping it on the thigh only. Here we go. Okay, so now you've mastered all of those skills using your feet and your thighs. It's time to put it all together and see how many kick-ups you can do. So you can use any part of your body. Left foot, right foot, left thigh, right foot. Okay, so you're going to see how many kick-ups you can do. What's really good is if you can video yourself like we're doing here today and actually watch back your technique to see how you're doing it, where you're going wrong, how you can improve. It's always really good. Top sports people always video themselves to then watch back and improve. So that's a really good tactic as well. Video what you're doing and see how many you can get. Okay, so we've come to the end of the tutorial. What we want to see is your best efforts of kick-ups now that you've learned how to do them. What we want you to do is post them onto our Facebook page and the Schools Out team will decide who is the deserving winner. And that lucky winner wins, I'm only joking, a personalised Schools Out water bottle. We'll pop your name on there so you can be like the staff at camp. For bonus points, you're welcome to have a go at the trend. I'm going to give it a go. Blue roll kickups.